Hello, my name is Ian Kornberg. I'm a video production intern for the Center for the Digital Humanities Department here at Montclair State University. Today I interviewed Bridget Dodge. She's a political science major. She was with a political advocacy group called the Federations of Associations of Behavioral Brain Sciences for her internship on Capitol Hill. My name is Bridget Dodge. What was your internship about? Um, so I major in political science, uh, so I was accepted to this internship at uh, Washington Center. Uh, it's uh, offered in schools across the country, so uh, I'm not sure how many students were in it, maybe a couple hundred from across the country all come to the one location. Um, and my they hook you up with uh, an internship based on what you're looking to do there. So I was uh, with a political advocacy group, nonprofit, called the uh, Federation of Associations of Behavioral Brain Sciences, um, and they advocate uh, for budget uh, hearings and uh, money and policies that pertain to the sciences. You were at Donald Trump's impeach impeachment trial. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. How was that? <laughs> if not, it's kind of boring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, the impeachment trial. So I got into the impeachment trial pretty easily because um, it was open to the public. So you could get uh, passes from uh, just people at the door. But um, we, one of my friends in the internship program actually told us that if you go to your congressional district office, they will give you a special pass that puts you in a second line that you get in somewhat quicker. <laughs> so uh, we went and got one of those passes and we got in, um, I really stayed like an hour or two maybe just because it was kind of late. Uh, but uh, yeah, it wasn't as interesting or as exciting as I would have thought because it was like the hearings were all day for days. <laughs> right. And then, and then COVID hit. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So um, how was that? What did they have you do? I actually had to stay home for a week, about three weeks before I got sent home because someone entered the building I was working in and had COVID. So the whole building had to stay home. Not even three days later, they said, uh, we actually have to cancel the program. They had said that a priest in DC had it and they met with like 500 people. And so there was this widespread panic. I actually just have a question out of curiosity. So I, I see all these politicians left and right. They they all don't like each other on camera, but for example, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, but what do you, did you see what it was like off camera? Were they more friendly? Yes, I did. And that's actually the number one thing people have asked me about oh, my really? friendship experience. Yes, everybody mm -hmm. asks me this. And yeah, it's, I couldn't tell who was Republican or Democrat in the hallways of Congress. Absolutely not. There is no fighting at hearings. I also hardly knew without their sign, I probably wouldn't have been able to tell. Um, as one of my other friends worked for a lobbying firm and he said, it's all politics. You know, it's, mm. it's very much just holding up your image to the public. I mean, they were all friends outside of the cameras. Thank you for watching. For more content, please watch Coffee Talk and read our weekly newsletter. From the Center for the Digital Humanities here at Montclair State University, have a great day.